to my life exactly when you needed to. I believe God ordained our steps and placed us in each other's lives. I was the forever single girl, totally okay with going to prom by myself until you stepped into my life. You helped me heal from my past and showed me that I deserve to be loved by someone God has made for me. I know that our relationship has been pushed to the limits. We've We've seen each other through deaths, losing jobs, dissolving relationships, and yet here we are, five years later, about to say I do. As we begin our life together, there are a few promises that I want to make to you. Sorry, I can't see through the tears. I promise to take care of you, be kind to you, and be understanding during Crohn's flare-ups, motorcycle wrecks, which will never happen again, mental health issues, and anything else that may happen with your health. I promise to support you and help you achieve your dreams and goals, whether that be at Denso or beyond, and I'm forever proud of you for all your hard work. I promise no matter how much money we do or don't have to walk beside you and love you through it all. I promise to listen to you, even if it's about the Gators, cool cars, Star Wars, or conspiracy theories, and be someone you can come to for any reason without judgment. I promise to be the best life partner, friend, housemate, and wife I can be. I promise to always love you with all my heart, no matter what may come our way. I'm proud of how far those 17 and 18 year old kids have come. I could never imagine that God would give me someone so understanding, diligent, hardworking, safe, strong, encouraging, resilient, God-fearing, handsome, and kind. I have loved you for the past five years. I continue to love you today, and I will love you until my lungs give out. Tristan Scott Miller, your soon-to-be wife, Alyssa. Oh, From the moment I met you, I knew that you were the one for me. You have brought so much joy and happiness into my life and I am grateful for every moment that we have spent together. Today, I stand before you, ready to make a lifelong commitment to you. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in all your dreams and aspirations, to be your partner in every aspect of our lives, and I vow to be your rock, your con confidant, and your best friend. I will cherish you, respect you, and honor you for all eternity. As we embark, embark on this journey together, I promise to be patient, kind, understanding, and I'll be there for you through thick and thin, in good times and bad, and I will always put you first and I will never take you for granted. I love you more than words can express. You are my soulmate, my rock, my everything, and I'm honored to be your husband. I promise to spend the rest of my life making you happy and to be the best husband I can be. I love you now and forever. T. Forget 
God declared, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a, him a helper fit for him. The Hebrew word for a helper refers to military reinforcement, coming alongside you to aid you and strengthen you in hardship and in trials. The word fit means suitable. The idea here is two distinct puzzle parts fitting together to form a bigger and more complete whole. So with the creation of Eve, Adam praises God in thanks and sings the first song for man, a poem of love. This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. God's holy word says, therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Tristan and Alyssa shared with me about how they met Alyssa had her junior prom coming up, and when looking for a date, she shared that she had only two requirements, Christian and tall. Alyssa's parents, without planning this together, both separately had asked Alyssa to consider Tristan as her date. So they connected on social media, and after a while, they met in person, and for the first time, when they met in person, Alyssa asked Tristan to be her prom date, and he said, sure. After prom, Tristan asked Alyssa to be his girlfriend, and after four years, he asked her to be his bride. Tristan and Alyssa, you now come today before God, your family and friends, to join together in marriage. Let us begin the vows. 
Tristan, you go first and repeat after me. I, Tristan, take you, Alyssa. I, Tristan, take you, Alyssa. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Before God, I pledge you my faithfulness. Before God, I pledge you my faithfulness. Now, Alyssa, repeat after me. I, Alyssa, take you, Tristan. I, Alyssa, take you, Tristan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For rich or for poor. In sickness or in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Before God, I pledge you my faithfulness. Before God, I pledge you my faithfulness. You have chosen rings to symbolize your love for one another. As a ring has no beginning or end, so may your love for one another continue and abide. Tristan, take this ring, place it on the third finger of Alyssa's left hand and repeat after me. Wear this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Wear this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Alyssa, take this ring, place it on the third finger, Tristan's left hand, and repeat after me. Wear this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Wear this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. We love because God first loved us. The Bible describes marriage as a profound mystery that symbolizes the union of Jesus Christ, the bridegroom, and his church, which is the bride. As you two grow to love one another, may your love grow for our Lord, honoring marriage above all, as Hebrews says, and living as ambassadors of Christ, lights in the world, and showing the world this mystery of the union of Christ and His bride, the church. Tristan, you may kiss your bride. to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tristan Miller. I found